Hello, my name is Yuri Atreides for you. Obviously, I am not really Atreides. I wish I was a very cool surname. But today I am here to present to you a guide to beginner players. If you were once, or you are actually, and I was once some of a beginner player, you find the Dune Spice Wars a bit confusing. And not only that, many of guides that you find on the internet, like I, I did search for them myself, you always find those videos filled with comments like, you should take this out, this no longer works, please remove this video, this is outdated, yada yada yada. So, I decided to go on a mission to make the perfect guide. Now, to make this perfect guide, I am not going to tell you like other guides do. They pretty much try to hold your hand and try to tell you exactly what to do. And that is the mistake. I am not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my guide in various parts where I just explain the beautiful mechanic that is doing Spice Wars. Then you shall go to your games and explore yourself. So I'm only here to tell you the basics. That is all. And we shall go from very little videos, very short videos, I hope. And we'll go through parts where I'll try to explain every single mechanic that you need to understand. And after that, just go to your games and you shall do what you want to do. This is because every mechanic is very hard to master, but it's very simple to actually understand. And that's, what, that's the knowledge I'm going to transmit to you. What is this first guide going to be about? The very beginning of the game, before you jump in, before you, the very first steps that you need to take. And the next video is going to explain how the map works and how the villages works. The next video shall be the spies, how they work, how you make operations and so on. Next video, we shall talk about politics and the next video, something else. It doesn't matter. So let's just jump right into it. Okay. Here I am, and this shall be the very first thing you need to choose. The very first thing you need to choose is the faction that you're going to play. There are various factions, uh, and I'm not going through all of it. Again, I'm not going into specifics. I'm just going to explain the basics, and then you shall do what you want to do. But first thing you need to is to uh, just pick a class, a faction. Any faction works, by the way. Uh, there are some that are better than others, obviously, but because this guide is forever and for all eternity, what works today, and it's probably the most powerful faction today, shall not be the most powerful faction tomorrow and when you are watching this video. But for simplicity, I am a main Atreides house. I do love Atreides a lot because of his politics, so to demonstrate, I shall pick Atreides. You should always read your your buffs and uh, all of your bonuses and everything. Every faction is e completely different and if you are w following this guide you need to go to a bots game before you try multiplayer. Only I, the best player in the world, have managed to get my first win on multiplayer right away. This will not happen. <laughs> Most of the time you will lose. So I am not going to explain the all of these buffs but I will explain the importance of choosing your counselors wisely. Now, you should before uh, try every single counselor on a bot game, but most of the time people will advise you to pick the ones that say right over there. Uh, you see hard, you need to choose easy. Normally, this is what they, uh, what other YouTubers advise to you. I'm actually not going to advise you this for a very simple reason. Uh, right here. Lady Jessica. Some patches ago, Lady Jessica was actually considered easy with the exact same um, abilities. And now she's considered hard. So hard and easy do not differ that much. So you really need just to go into a game, try yourself, see what you like, and then come back and read all of these and see what you think goes well into your playstyle. Now, I found that I really, really like Hue, Wellington Hue, and I really like Lady Jessica. I think she's very OP and very good, especially on late game. So, now you've looked through all of your uh, counselors and you choose what you want. 
So let's get into the game. Okay, we are back. I am into the game and we are at the very beginning of the game. Now, on multiplayer games, normally how the normal games go is uh, you can press your spacebar to pause the game for 10 seconds. On multiplayer, it's just 10 seconds, but on here on single player, it's as long as you want. That's why it's very important for you to practice with bots at least, I don't know, I practiced like 20 times before I went into my first multiplayer game to figure out all the mechanics. But this is the very beginning of the game. So as soon as you enter the game, what you want to do is very simple. You want to count to two. If no other players have paused the game, you pause yourself. You press the spacebar. Oh, I pressed it accidentally. Uh, you press it yourself and then you have 10 seconds. What do you do on these 10 seconds? Very simple. You just add another ornithopter, whatever the name is, it's pronounced. And then you add your first two troops. Now, there are, this is where some specifics of factions uh, you need to understand. Most factions, for the Atreides, I will play one trooper and one ranger. But uh, there are factions that do not use the first melee and ranged trooper. Some prefer two melee, some factions uh, have special, um, special troopers like this one actually, the Vernius. So you need to look into it or, to be honest, just go into the bots game and try the troopers yourself and see which ones you like the most. So you have paused the game, you got yourself the very two first uh, rangers. What you do now is you have here your first sonic copter. Don't worry if you do this in the first 10 seconds, it's very quick. Then you just click here. So it goes to the first spice that you get. You always get one spice field revealed and this is your income, your first income. So you just click on there to reveal it and then you'll reveal a uh, interrogation mark. Yep. And you just hover over there to get the village. And then after you do that, you, by the way, at this time the game should be unpaused by the way. So let's just unpause. And then it starts going and then you just scroll all back to see where you are on the map. This just to give you information where you build, uh, where you will be uh, expanding to. That's just it. It's very simple. So as you guys can see, uh, I paused the game again and now we have the first ex uh, interrogation uh, mark and our uh, troopers are are still on their way. Now I've paused the game, but what you want to do is you don't need to pause during this. I've sent my, uh, I'm just gonna call it helicopter, over to the village to start discovering and then you have here rally point. What is rally point? Rally point is where you choose where your troops are going to drop. So as you can see, this is a very big circle and I can just make my troops just fall right into that village so we can save time. Time is of the essence here. So I'm just gonna do that. Remember, press rally and just click on it. This is the very basics of the of the game. This is what you want to do every single time. Um, so let's just get over this. I'm going to go and conquer my very first uh, village. Village should be very easy to get, the very first, because the closer they are to you, the weaker they are. As you guys can see, they only have two troops always, every time, don't worry. Okay, I am back. I am now conquering the very first uh, village. Now, after I look at the very first village, I forgot to say something, which is you should always, after he discovers, your helicopter discovers your first village, you should always just go over here and turn your auto recon on. So he just starts discovering all of your map alone without you having to tell him what to do. I just like to turn this on after he gets the very first village, but I kind of forgot, sorry. So now you get the very first village. After this, I'm not going to explain anything else on the map. This is going to be the, the next video, but I do want to explain every single way of you winning the game. Now you have the most simple way, which is here, hegemony. How do you get hegemony? Very simple, by just progressing through the game. Uh, conquering other villages, uh, upgrading your uh, your villages that you own, upgrading your character in the skill tree, uh, so on and so forth. Pretty much this comes naturally. There are some factions obviously that do speed up this process a little bit, but this depends on the faction. But that is the first way to win. What is the second way to win? The second way to win is with the 
Well, the very simple way, which is just to destroy every single one of the three factions. Like, normally, you pick up your army, you go to their base like this, like this one over here, and just destroy them. And they perish, they, they are gone, they, they, they do not come back. So that's the second way. The third way is uh, the uh, politics way, which I cannot tell you here because we do, did not unlock them. So I'm just gonna go over now for in a game where I can show you how to do it. Here I am back and now I'm going to explain the other ways to win. So first is Hegemonia, as I told you, you need to get to 30k I believe. Uh, this is a game that I uh, prolonged uh, because I was just having fun. So here you have Hegemony, you get to 30k and you win, the first one to get to 30k wins. The second way is by just destroying, by sending your army onto other territories and destroying their base. Third way is here, Koa Market. Now, it, as you can see, by the way, once you get close to one of the ways of winning, it shall appear here. So if your opponent is close to winning, you need to do countermeasures. But here is the other way. This is the Koa Market. What is a coin market? Uh, kind of a crypto uh, market, so to speak. And what happens is, how do you win by uh, the coin market? You need to get 50 shares of 50% uh, of the shares of this coin market. How do you get it? Very simple. You go over here and you buy some shares. Now the value of the shares might go up and down and increase depending on the Landstrom Council. I'll get to that. Don't worry. But as you guys can see here, we. Uh, by 5 and here we buy 20. Now here you guys can see how much it is you need 3% you need 94 uh, uh, pieces of comb so that's just how you you see but don't worry you most of the time won't be looking at this especially through early and mid game you'll just be looking at the shares you have and the opponent's share that they have because you do want to stop them from getting uh, to 50%. So this is another way. Next way is right here, Dune Governorship. How do you get Dune Governorship? Right here on the politics. This is the politic win, by the way. This is how it's called. So to get this, you pretty much need to be, to fill those requirements over there that you can see, which is you need to have 450 of lands red standing and have one charter. What is a charter? Right here. This is a charter. I have all four. This is because the Atreides do get these very easily and this was bought, so yeah. <laughs> so pretty much that's it, that's what you need. And then you need to win the voting, just like you are voting for your present. Votings are over here, but I'll explain that uh, in other videos. So this is another way of winning. And the last way of winning, if I am not forgetting any, is the assassination, which is right over here. As you can see, this is assassination. Don't worry, once I explain the spice and um, the, um, the operations uh, in the operations video, you guys will see how to win with this. But this pretty much how this works is that you uh, fill some pre-requirements and then you unlock this operation and then place it onto, in this case, Fremen, as you guys can see over there, which is are these guys. You pretty much have one for each faction right over here, assassination, assassination. You need to fill the prayer requirements, which are always below, by the way. I'll get to that in another video. And then uh, you just start uh, assassinating them and another bar should appear over here, which will start filling up slowly and once it gets full, the guy just dies. The guy just dies. So this is a more direct way besides just conquering every single territory up to the base. But you guys choose whatever you want. So now, I showed you what to do at the very beginning. I showed you uh, the very different ways to win. So what you need to do at the beginning, and this is just to end the video, what you need to do is very simple. You need to decide uh, two ways to win the game. Yes, you need to define your plan A, which is going to be your main, uh, where your all pretty much ma your main resources are going to to try and win that uh, way. And the other way is the plan B, the second way, which is in case your plan A is not working that well, you can always resort to plan B. Don't try to go for three, don't try to go for plan C. As you guys can see, there are many ways to win the game. 
Um, but normally focusing on two is always the best. Focusing on one can go very wrong because if people, if you, because as soon, as close as you get to winning, people are starting to pay attention to you and start focusing you and battling you. So you need to, once they destroy that plan A, you really need that plan B. So this was the video, the very first video. I just told you how things work at the very beginning and how the different ways are to win the game. I know, very simple, it's not complicated. I'm not trying to give you the secrets of the Fountain of Youth or something. I am saying this right now. I don't know if I forgot that in my intro. Please do the tutorials of the game before you come here and before you go into a bots match. Although the tutorials do not uh, tell you much, they do help you with some basics and I'm here to kind of give you the other basic tutorials, not any advanced uh, tips. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next uh, tutorial. Goodbye.